In the previous video, I described the model and created plane cut contours. In this video, I'll use object faces to create contour plots and particle traces. I'll create an object face on all the PCBs at once. This can be done in a couple different ways. First, I'll create a new object face. In the object pull down menu, I'll select all the PCBs with Control or Shift, just as you would do in the model tree. Alternatively, if you've already defined a group containing all the PCBs, you could just pick this group from the object pull down menu. You can create this group before or after the simulation. It's a good practice to plan the post processing before the simulation so that your results can be processed faster. Now I'll visit some controls associated with contours. The default legend shows the global minimum maximum values. In this case, from 20 to 83 degrees centigrade. The contours in legend now show the minimum maximum values on the object surfaces defined in the current object face. Rendering can be done using solid fill or line, or both. The lines are colored by the currently selected variable, which, by default, is temperature. The lines can also be assigned a fixed color. The number of contour levels and the number of legend markings can be controlled independently. You can modify the legend by right-clicking it while holding the shift key. This allows changing the number of legend markings and the legend orientation. The solid fill shading is banded by default, but can be changed to smooth. I'll finish up the object face contours panel by resetting all fields to defaults. I'm going to use a transparency of 0.9. Next, I'll create particle traces of flow that leave the fan and pass through the rest of the model. To do this, I'll create a new object face using yet another method. First, I'll select the objects from the model tree. In this case, the three openings on the fan tray immediately downstream of the fan. In the context menu, select Create, Object Faces, Combined. By default, this creates a temperature contour plot. I'll switch the contour plot off and turn on Particle Traces. When I select particle traces, the default legend is set to temperature. Let's examine the particle trace controls. The window shown here displays the default settings. The number of points and end time have been increased. To enhance visibility, the trail width and the marker size have also been increased. Now I'll change the display to a four port view. The views in the ports are front, top, left, and oblique. I'll create an animation of these particle traces. The animation is displayed in all four ports. In this example, the animation settings were altered to non-default values. Let's observe how the flow from each fan spreads throughout the entire model. You can see the particle traces from all three fans. By using a fixed color, I can track the fan source throughout the model. The number of uniform points is still 30, but the marker style is set to dots of size 3. When displaying the total spread from a flow source, it's preferable to seed the initial points to the mesh instead of using a uniform distribution. Enabling a high transparency enhances visibility throughout the entire model. This concludes the video tutorial on post-processing in ANSYS IcePack.